Welcome everybody. On our last lesson, we built a script to send an HTML-based email with attachment in less than 100 lines. But if you have a Gmail account, as most people has, you can simplify your code with Jackmail, reducing your code to a few lines. And that's what we are going to do. We're going to build a, an SMTP client for sending emails with attachment from our Gmail account in around 20 lines, in just minutes. So let's go. As we are going to send emails using a Gmail account, you need to have a, a Google account. I created this one for testing purpose, so create your own Gmail account for testing. Then, after you have created your Gmail account, come here, Google account. Let me switch it to English. And security. Let's secure app access. Probably yours is off and you need to turn it on. This is how probably you have it. So turn it on and that's it. You can close. And you will get an email confirming what you have done and delete it. After that, you need to create an environment with Python. I use PyPen, so to create an environment, I need to write ppm shell. And of course, I already have one. And you need to install Jackmail. pip install Jackmail. And I already have installed it. Now, let's create our basic script. In the introduction of this video, I said that Jackmail simplifies our work. And I wasn't kidding. Let me show it to you. First, create a Python file, like this one. And now we are going to import Jackmail. We only need Jackmail for this. And of course, we need to set up some variables. For example, the sender email, the receiver email, the subject, etc. For example, sender email, this one. I'm going to use the same email. You can create a second testing email, but for testing purpose, you can use the same. Then, the subject. Bonus points if you get this reference. And then the sender password. You can hard code it. But I'm going to ask the user to enter the password. Now we need to create the SMTP client and we're going to use Jackmail. If you have watched my how to send beautiful emails with attachment using only Python video, this will be familiar for you. If you have not, of course, watch the video. But this is going to create a SMTP client and it's going to log in into Gmail using the password and our Gmail address. In this case, user equals sender email. And the password, sender password. Now we need to create the context of the email. And the contents is just a list of strings. I'm going to send this. Once we are set, we are going to use this SMTP client after being logged in in our Gmail account and we are going to send the contents. How we are going to do it? With Jack, send, and this is going to be sent to receiver email, the subject is subject, and the contents are contents. Like this. Let me save it, and I'm going to run the script. Python, Jackmate Sender, and of course I forgot to assign it. Let me send it again. If I forgot the equal sign here, I add it here. So let me send it. Please enter the password. So, no, no, no. And it's done. And this is the email. This is the first paragraph in our email. As you can see, we can send a list of strings, being this or third one. And we received this zero minutes ago. Let me explain what happened here. We have created the sender email and the receiver email, a subject to the email, and we 
prompt the user to enter the password. After the user has entered the password, we are going to create an SMTP client that is going to send the email. And using the sender email and the sender password is going to log in our Gmail account. After this, we have created the contents of the email and we have sent to the receiver email with the subject subject the contents or the email body. But we have not created this script to send one email to one person. We want to send this email to a list of people. Can you imagine how we can send this email to a list of email addresses? Of course, it's pretty simple. Instead of receiver email, we need a receiver emails, a list of email addresses. The third email address is my mother's Gmail account. It's pretty much a honeypot for spam mails, but whatever, I'm going to use it for this. Anyway, now after created our list of email addresses, we just need to send it to instead of receiver email to receiver emails, plural. That's all we need. We, we only need a list of email addresses and we're going to send it to that list. Let's try the code. Enter the password. And the email is here. Here on my SMTP for let's learn about Gmail addresses. And, and on my mother's. One caveat. If in our receiver emails list we have the same email address more than one, it is only going to send once the email. For example, we have here SMTP and SMTP, but we have only received this email once. This is the old one and this is the one we have just sent. But we want to send attachment and with Jackmail it's pretty pretty easy. Easier than with the SMTP leaf of Python. First, place some files in your script folder. Of course, I placed some cats and dogs photos and I want to send them. To do so, we only need to add them here on the contents. Right click on the image and copy the absolute path and copy it here. That's all you need. But because I'm using Windows, I need to escape the backwards slash. So, like this. And I'm going to send also the docs. That's it. That's all we need. We only need to add the absolute path to the contents. I'm going to save and send the email again. And I'm going to receive it right now. And as you can see, we have the attachments here the cat photo and the dogs. See, it's super simple, just 21 lines. That's all we need to create an SMTP server, log in into our Gmail account, send an email, add some attachments, super simple. The only caveat is that we need a Gmail account address. That's the only requirement. Of course, you can do more with Jackmail. I'm going to leave a few links on the description box so you can add more features to your code. If you want to learn how to send beautiful emails like this one, I'm going to leave the link on the description box too. You will like it. Now, a question. What do you want to learn about sending emails with Python? Or what Python packages are you interested in? Give me your answer on the comments. And remember, if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel to get notified when I upload more videos, like the video, and I will see you on my next video.